Good afternoon. Welcome to Open Gate Show for tomorrow's race card, Sunday, October 30th. DK Spring Water provides much needed oxygen to the entire body and brain, aids in digestion, and helps us maintain a healthy body weight. Tastes great as it never tastes flat or boiled. It's made for an excellent drinking experience and one that does wonders overall. Located at True Creef Road, Kingston 6. Call for more info, 876 627 91145. That's 876 627 91145 or 876 807 5315. That's 876 807 5315. Where else to stay when you're coming from afar and you need a night rest or even for the weekend to have the Saturday and Sunday racing? See us right is in, located at 17 Port Anderson Road, Port Mort St. Catherine. Call and make your reservations, 876-704-6215-7, that's 876-704-6215-7. And for those who frequent the Hayes Clarendon area, you can go and cool out at Super Hill Bar, 14 Catholic Plaza, New Newtown Hayes Clarendon. I am encouraging you to help the Open Gate Show by asking others to subscribe to the Open Gate Show on YouTube. As I, as I keep mentioning, there are lots of interviews and previews that I'm sure you would love. I noted with alarm and respect, and I must applaud female steward Alicia Lindo. She was at the track very early in the morning, experiencing what it's like with horses, as well as spent some time with the clockers and to see how they do their work. That's a very good move by the beautiful steward, Alicia Lindo. Race one has 10 declared. Go five from straight or 1,000 meters straight is for native bred five is and up, who hasn't won four races and imported five is and up, who has not won three races. Five from straight is the journey. Number one, speechless, US bred in Utah mayor, who has back class and can make an impact here. Number two, Colbert should benefit for from his last start when coming off a respite. So, uh, and, and also with his issue, the five flung straight should suit him well. Number three, Bother Salt has speed, but against these, uh, he will find it tough to hold. Number four, Stephen Fate would have won if she didn't stumble at the gates. Uh, the last time um, she raced, oh, now going out the street, um, could do just as well because it's, it's been a while that Stepping Fate has not shown any form. Number five, triple seven, is Paper Light. Number seven, Gorgeous Gifts. A very interesting rider change in Anthony Thomas getting the reins and the eight Chennai Express consistent on the board and with a more aggressive rider in Aaron Chachi and looking a different animal since last race, a capital effort seems eminent. Number nine expedition could earn an exotic place in, in the lower order. I'm selecting number eight, Chennai Express to create a mild upset. Over number four, step in fate. Number one, speechless. Number two, call bear. Number nine, expeditious. Sorry, not number nine, number five, triple seven. Race two goes 400 meters or seven furlongs. Before I get to race two, the open gate show is open that we are not forgetting those who have helped our beloved sport of racing. To be, to be so exciting. I'm talking about some who passed away 
the last four years Wayne McCosta, Harry Passard, Chris Armon, Jack Snorn, Stanley Finley, Errol Pottinger, Richard Todd, Joe Duenny, Vassal Nadir, Laura Silvera, just to name a few. This race is for Tracing Up optional claim in 250,000 with Nadebred 6 years and up, who has won three races, as well as Nadebred 5 years and up, who has only won one race. Number one, whatever, should hit the board. Number two, Purple Wayne. Did he have enough time to be competitive now? After his last four, four races, he was far from competitive returning to the uncertain enclosure. I can't help you answering that question, except to say he only needs to be 70% to have a say for the win. Number three, the Van Luxe has to do better than, than that seven and a half length finish behind number one, whatever. Number four, Black Royalty. Her condition has improved just before her last start and now facing a, a highly suspected set could come away with a long overdue win. Number five, Ali, interesting Jamal Patterson, Patterson gets the ride. Number six, Avery and Aaron can earn. I'm selecting number four. That's Black Royalty over number two, Purple Wayne. Number three, Divine Lexi, number one, whatever. Number six, Avery and Iron. Race three, nine declared, 900 meters straight. They go, and this is a very interesting race. It's for native, native bread and imported to her. It's a main special weight race. Number one, a debutant named Smooth Aviator, born the 23rd of March will be caught by casual trick out of classy aviator by seeking the glory. Kiss pilot, only for Jason Acosta trains, Everdeen Maxwell Reeves, the breeder, Anthony Blair, the groom, Robert Halladin gets the call. Uh, been around for a while and he's getting his act together. Maybe for the show season. Or maybe <laughs> later down, Jason Acosta needs every cent to win his first championship. Smooth Aviator will debut with Lasix, Tongue Tie, and Blinkers. A second debutant named All for Love. Born the 1st of February, trusted fully by Nuclear Wayne, out of Princess Selena by Traditional. Louis Chin and Michael Hugh owned this horse. Anthony Chin bred this one, Errol Thompson, the groom, the groom who grooms Atomica. And wow, wow, when he was around, all for love with Debbie with Lasix. This one gets the service of Dane Dawkins, but will need plenty more time. Number three, acknowledge me. Short speed and last, but weakened. Still no Lasix, but gets Shane Ellis. Number four, the love of God, another who showed speed when last raced, and before that ran fair also. Working much better since October 1st, when he ran, when she ran rather, and could use experience and better deeds. Number five, Lambert Girl, got 11 to 1 on debut, and didn't do anything. Number six, Crucial Alexa, looking a bit tighter in her musculatory areas, and being raised more than all here, could factor somewhere in your exotics. Number seven, rejected Raja, another debutant. This horse was born the 2nd of February, chested coat by Soul Warrior of Palace Gold by Traditional. Owned by WB Racing, trained by Robert Pearson, Wilbert Bagwan Dean, is the breeder Cleve Walters. The groom, Siobhan Townsend, gets the ride. A bread on his dumb side for raw speed. We'll see what that does tomorrow. Uh, very interesting entry and the open gate show which is connection all the best number eight valiki vicky <coughs> pardon me another debutant this one was born the 19th of february well most of the debutants are born in february this is a own philly by bold conquest out of sweet your rock by is the real thing michael the and cedric stewart 
owns Jason the Costa Train and Jeffrey Mordecai, bred this one, Vaughn Taylor the Groom. Female rider Abigail Abel will be in the saddle. Uh, Valiki Vicky Onyx has five track for ages and finally get into race. Could factor somewhere in the lower order. Number nine, the fun double ten. Well, it's the final horse in the race. Piggly Wiggly. As Shakespeare said, a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. It doesn't matter a name, it's really the substance. Anyway, Piggly Wiggly was born the 2nd of April, a Bay Philip by Conquest Cherry Mash, out of Save More by Super Saver. Samora Clark owns Patrick from Train, Ham's Tables Limited, bred this one, Rashawn Brown, the groom, the Cardenas, he rides. Can't say much on this one because uh, I haven't seen this horse, but uh, uh, from the presence of the Cardenas, maybe you could consider following that. Anyway, I'm setting number four though. The love of God. I always depend on the love of God daily. And trust me, it has carried me for quite a long time. Amazing. It builds my strength. Number three, acknowledgement for a second. Number six, crucial Alexa for third. Number seven, rejected, Ra rejected Raja, who I wouldn't be surprised if this one wins. Number eight, Veliki Vicky for fifth. We are to race four. Nine were declared. They go six for over 500 meters for trees and up. Optional payment for $550,000. For Neil Bird Five Rolls and Up, who has this one four races as well. Number two, John to Giant, but it's similar. Offer a brief break on last, going five and a half from on the 16th of October, and pulled away to win by seven and a half length, beating Luke Cannon and The Good Life. A suspected feel, anyway. But never did that John to Giant one going away. Number four, it's all I, consistent gallon. Number five, for velocity and speed, but holding for the win. Ain't seen that hair. Number seven, Victoria's medallion. Was it because of the of the of the evidence seen on October 15 being a very sore horse? Why she's at this claiming tag of 550,000? Well, it seems so. Otherwise. If the authority is just in to get a win, and she's okay, should be considered. Number eight, Levante claimed for 550000 and after one run for connection is back, is back there. Maybe it makes money sense for a quick cash return, as he can handle these. Owner trainer, Maurice Crooks, is a banker. And he knows how to make some money. Mr. Crooks, good night. Number nine, one down, run well on July 17. Then, uh, then two subsequent intended start, he was scratched in August. And now here, has enough time to recoup for trainer Gary Sobrati. Have no choice but to select number nine, one down, from number eight. Devontae, number two, Gentle Giant, number four, it's all I. DK Spring Water provides much needed oxygen to the entire body and brain, aids in digestion and helps us maintain a healthy body weight. It tastes great as it never tastes flat or boiled. It makes for an excellent drinking experience and one that does wonders overall. Located at Two Creek Road, Kingston 6, call for more information, 876 Nine one one four to five. That's eight seven six six two seven nine one one four to five. Or eight seven six eight zero five five three one five. That's eight seven six eight zero seven five three one five. And remember, whenever you're in, in coming from afar, Negril, Montego Bay, wherever, or even want to cool out, where else to go but see all riders in, secure, safe, and comfortable. Located at 17 Port Elizabeth Road, Portmore, St. Catherine. You can call and make your reservation as well as ask for information. Well, I can advise you that there's a restaurant beside it that has a various cuisine. Call 876-704-6215-7. That's 876-704-6215-7.
one five two seven. We are at race five, and it goes five from straight or a thousand meters straight. Ten declared. Remember to ask others to subscribe. Okay. All right. This race is for mid bread cereal. It's the main special bread race section one. Number one, Risky Baby, useful sword who relishes both the straight and surely Shane Ellis. Gets the frigate and tongue tie off. Number two, Sergeant Charge, a bit fitter now and can enter into your exotics. Number four, Noai Lai ran her best race yet. The last time she raced. Gets blinkers on and visor off, but the, the Cardano stays. Number five, a debutant named Rani Bangala, born the 26th of February, a bit fitted by some of stomp out of Palace Gold by tradition. Why be racing owns proper person train, Wilbert Bagwin, Bagwandin, the breeder, Jacob Harris, the groom, Ray and Lewis Rides, has shown her value earlier in the season. Not hard train, but will perform okay. Who knows and can win? Number six, now London, very experienced, but hasn't improved her position on the on the lower end of the board. Should find a place in in, in the I five as uh, she has run quite a number of fourth and fifth. So for those who play the exotics you can ensure you know either of those positions will will, will, will be, be coming tomorrow or maybe she will run better. Number eight is the second debutant here by the name of Aaron. And it's very interesting. This horse is owned by Philip Fiani and his son Chad. And for this horse to name Aaron here in it's very interesting that this horse could be a special horse for dad and son. Born the seventh of March, just as Philip by Soul Warrior, out of Rockaway by a orphan, owned by us, trained by Philip Fiani, O.D. Evergreen Farm Limited, British horse, Michael Reed, the groom, W. To Harvey, he gets the services, working okay each week, and could just be better than these to give the father and son owner a deserved win. Just didn't like though. Or uh, workouts has been since September 11th. Number nine, Dream of Paris improved with the figure eight when that was the equipment was fitted. Number 10, Lady Ben, well drawn. I'm selecting number eight tentatively as Erin from number one risky bid. Number four, Nile Lee. Number two, Sergeant Charge. Out of number five, Rani Bangali, who could very well win this race. Out of number six, Lord North London, as well as number nine, Dream of Paris for the minor places. Thanks to Michael Kane. This race is named in honor of Michael Kane. And, you know, I was really taken aback the length of time he spent commending me on the, how Classical orb, classical orb was presented on the 17th of October. He also commended the groom. I must make this declaration. Classical Orb has run against much better horses who are up in class. The reason why he ran so well, he's a plotter. He's one pace. He can't quit. But when he runs, when he ran against those horses, the pace was strong, and it came back. So obviously, classical law would do good. Now, those horses are gone, and yet he still is failing to, 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 to win. The reason be, once a horse quickens, and it is it's seen, the classical law won't be catching that horse. But you never know. Anything can happen next time and in the future, at least, his pain is keep and the owner is happy. Back to race five. 
sorry, Ray 6, which uh, is named in honor of Michael Caine. Uh, a gem to the all three in industry. And you open get your wish, Michael, all the best. Eleven declared for this trophy race in honor of Mr. Kane. Five from straight or thousand meters speed number one. Babylon will fall. Babylon will fall has fallen long ago. But what happened to this horse? Well, she shows she adores the straight. Her two best races were out that route. Number two, give me a light. Give me Lasix. <laughs> There must be a reason why in 15 career starts, this chore is yet to be placed on Lasix. It's training. There are different. Sure knows what he's doing, and we must all respect that. Maybe it will give us all a light when the world lights up in Christmas. <laughs> Number four, Blue Sky, getting first time Lasix for the first time after 11 career starts. Without it, trainer Michael Marlow's barn surely is doing very, very well of late. So you can have this one in your exotics. Number five, storm will come. Well, storm always co coming in these times, as seen. And, and well, this horse did run good the last two times he ran and um, should continue to be competitive. Number six, Manaco hasn't shown in her eight career starts, why being a half brother to the great one container, one of a kind, uh, means nothing. Time will tell, and maybe tomorrow is that time. Number seven posing already. Well, he already posed in W to show his value. 30th of July, going four full and straight. This horse got six to one and uh, run evenly to finish fourth, four and a half minutes behind Ruby's the one, the Zer and Rambling Rose. I think that race um, had two more winners coming out of that race. Um, half to top campaigner in the higher grade. I kind of like how he looked passing my stables Friday morning and posing already could be gearing up to pose in the winner's enclosure. Number eight, Debiton, by the name of Princess Sylvia, born the 4th of May, just in Philly by Soul, World of May, Flower by Devil is due. Super Kids Racing Stable owns Philip Sianic OD Trains, Evergreen Farms Limited, the breeder. Philip Martin, the groom, female apprentice, Abigail Abel will ride. Was working well in August, but ain't push much since could get into your exotics. Number nine, Squeak, a debutant, born the 17th of March will be caught by perfect curling out of City Flight by City Place, owned by Michael's trained by yours truly, Colin Blair, Michael Bernard Bird, this one, Steve Williams, the groom, and apprentice Anthony Allen will ride. Hasn't done enough as yet to be considered for anything. Number seven, posing already from number five, Tom McComb. Number one, Babylon will fall. Number six, Manaco. Number two, give me the light. The seventh race, six were declared. 1300 meters or six and a half followed with the claiming race. Four trees and up. 600,000 to 750. Number one, secret traveler, eight year old who ran well over a distant way out of his liking on the 17th of October, going five furlongs round, ran evenly to finish third, three and a quarter lengths to Latin McQueen, Alexis Lodge, who is here once again. We'll be happy at this journey now, We're going one and a half furlongs more. Number two, Alexis Lodge came back to her form when only had the figure, when only the figure was placed on her. Uh, given a furlong and a half more, a uh, uh, of race with Secret Traveller. I think Secret Traveller, um, well, Secret Traveller could up, up the upper hand, but Alexis Lodge's low speed, very interesting. 
The Sri Don Almighty could earn a high placing on the board if not needing this race. Answer to number two. Reluctantly, Alex Zorg for number one, Secret Traveler number three, the Don Almighty. Eight race goes a thousand meters straight or five from straight race. It has 11 declared at present. For Nederbred Falls and Up, who hasn't won four races, and imported Falls and Up, who hasn't won three races. Number one, Quiet Boss has a bit to find, even though a door in the straight and for this inside draw. Number two, Sensational Goal ran well the last twice he came out the straight. Number three, Magical Mood been looking in good stead for this for the past two weeks. Number four, Taurus Boy has been having bad luck in most of his starts. Can't complain now and should definitely fight out the finish. I should mention Ray Lewis is rather than in. Very good form. Number five, Sweetie Man has been sweet for connection when focused for tasting. The apprentice who won aboard him the last time is back on. Number six, Money Man, fit customer who for some reason is taking his chances out the streets. I, I, I wonder why, but maybe it's, it's a prep race for next week. Who knows? Number seven, John Crowjaff scored a quick double out the straight in the summer of this year, between some top one, some of the top ones here. Number eight, Ring Charmer uh, is a possibility. Number nine, Oaking Cole already competed with most here and did very well, but Shane Ellis could make all the difference now back with those horses. Number ten, awesome choice, a slick customer it seems. Answer to number four, Taurus Boy. From number nine, Oaking Cole. Number six, that's Money Man. Number five, Sweetie Man. Number, yes. And there are a host of other horses that can factor into the, uh, the top, well, in the high five, and it can even win too. I hope, I'm not sure I mentioned number seven, Job Project for my second choice here, but anyway, it is. The penultimate race, race nine, naming honor of Brian Rickman, the track announcer. Brian Rickman, a stalwart, an asset to our horse racing uh, in, in announcing the races, and um, surely one of the top in this part of the world. Uh, time goes on, and I hope that he stays evergreen to come and keep commentating our races on race days. This race goes 1100 meters or five and a half furlongs, 10 were declared. Number one, Yellowstone could be the low speed here and pose a threat to catch. Number two, Lacrima, well supported in her first seven career start, but last three starts she got long odds. Uh, that's a concern, and it's, it, it, it's obvious that she wasn't right. Is she right now? Mm. Uh, maybe. Number five. Awesome Rich won in a fast time of the straight on the 25th of June when leaving pole to pole and finishing the time of 58 and 3 fifths, beating no more deals and Rapunzel. Number six, a gift from Ben, her up in class display on the 16th of October, going five for the straight was good enough, finishing fourth, six and three quarter length to uh, Golden Water, Power, and Awesome Rich. I can tell you, a gift from Ben will be more focused than that, than when she ran in that race, comes tomorrow. Number eight, Pretty Girl is returning off for a brief respite. Uh, working okay, and um, may factor somewhere. Still companion number nine looks for, was loud whispered and last. That was on the 16th of October, going five for the straight, and was installed a treat to favorite. It was challenging, approaching the furlong point where he was hindered, and that was a crucial part of the race. And uh, she flattened to be six, seven half lengths behind Golden Water Power and of Rich. Robert Aladdin gets the call. Number 10, Talona, stable mate of 
The other Philip Fiano horse here, Lacrimae, this one has only the money in his back from a very short spine, but it took a while to race for that September 10th engagement and it still takes a while to run after that, that September um, run. Mm, well, first time Tom Ty is on and uh, Talona is looking fresh and focused in the mornings. One of these, number 10, uh, Talona, from number two, Lacrimae, number six, a gift from Ben, number one, Yellowstone, Number nine, Luxo. The final race goes six and a half furlongs or 1300 meters. 15 declared. Number one, Super Duper. It's quickly back. This horse just raced. Number two, Burn Notice. Has this race in mind. Let's see what happens. Number three, Baron Rouge. Uh, really doing well since the start of April and up against a good set now, but could factor somewhere in the lower order of your exotics. Number four, Big Big Daddy. Showing versatility and have a, and, uh, and should have a say, but his handicap against the uh, her opponent, number 14, the good witch. Uh, if you look at that race on the 17th of September, number nine, Chual Sky, has to, how true is her to duplicate that August 13th display if she. If she can, then she should have a fair chance. Number 14, the good witch, Chime Mare, who gets the best jockey in the island to team with the witch to use his magic to get in the winner's enclosure, hoping to take pictures there. The good witch is a US bred horse, uh, well bred and didn't run for much while in the States. But um, I have to throw that last race where, uh, well, the odds show five to one that something w w was amiss. Maybe this race was the race that they have penciled this one for. In 15 minute drum man, I've seen this horse now in better skin, better skin tone, but beauty contests don't necessarily make a beautiful one takes the crown. Still not comfortable in how he carries himself, but he's a, he, well, he is, or well, he was a good horse and only needs to display that back form of yesteryears to take this race. Um, it's paper light, has to be considered and will be presented sharp and I can tell you, we'll be closing and closing fast. I'm selecting number 15 minute from man reluctantly. From number four, the good witch. 14, rather, the good witch. Number four, big, big daddy. Number three, Baron Rouge. Number two, burn. Number, number two and number one, burn out is super duper. Remember to ask others to subscribe to the Open Gate Show. There's a lot more on our horse racing as in, which included jockeys owners grooms and uh, uh, veterans so ensure that you subscribe to the open gate show it's free if you don't know how you can ask someone to make a subscription for you dk dk spring water provides much needed oxygen to the entire body and brain aids in digestion and help us maintain a healthy body weight Tastes great, as it never tastes flat or boiled. It makes, it's, it's made for an excellent drinking experience and one that does wonders overall. Located at 2 Cliff Road, Kingston 6, call for more information. 876-627-911425, that's 876-627-911425, or 876-807-5315. And never you forget, for your safety, your comfort, and surely, having the various cuisine like seafood, etc., right beside you, where it hurts to be, then see all riders in. Located at 17 Port Anderson Road, Portmore, St. Catherine. Call and make your reservation as well as get information at 876-704-6245-7. That's 876-704-6245-7.
Take care and I uh, wish you all the best. Christmas is just around the corner. I mean, I can't believe it just ended just a few months ago and we're back. Well, it's November. Please take care on the road. And remember, praying men pray in mentally does a lot. It will help you decide at times not to do wrong. That's what happens to me. So I'm just letting you know.